Hey, Shalom, Shalom, your brother back in. Hey, uh, Shabbat Shalom. Um, I wanted to actually add in uh, to the previous video that I was talking about. Well, actually, I mean, this is, has nothing to do with the last video. Uh, it has to do with last night. Pastor was speaking about fail safes. He was talking about sisters. He was talking about a woman of a meek and quiet spirit. He was talking about their disposition. He was talking about how they carried themselves, not drawing attention to themselves. You know, the Bible speaks for those things, not with broad hair, things of that nature, right? And uh, I just kind of want to point out, we've talked about these things before where, you know, sometimes you don't see with spiritual eyes. You know what I mean? Uh, a lot of times brothers don't look out and they don't, they don't look in the spirit. They look at what they eyes lust after. You know, they look at what their flesh lusteth after, right? So the idea is to get to a place where actually you're looking in the spirit. You're looking after the spirit. Um, and I just kind of want to give you guys a, give you guys uh, a testimony of even myself. And Pastor was talking about, and he made the statement that, uh, I think, he, paraphrasing, where he made the statement pretty much, ain't many men, I guess, they don't look in this vein, they don't look for holiness, right? They don't look for that. Well, I come tell you that I did. I did. I did exactly that. Uh, I was looking at holiness. I sought after righteousness in the sister. Uh, and I literally saw that in Sister Erica, my wife. And I could just remember at that time, man, that, you know, I didn't see too many wise young women at all. And, and Sister Erica is 10 years younger than I am. And, you know, so I was closing in on 30 at the time and, you know, she was every bit of closing in on 20. And, and I mean, she just, in my mind, blew out. And for what I saw, she just blew the rest of the sisters around that time just out the water. Yeah, no one can hold a candle to her, if you will. Um, and, but what I saw with her was she wasn't drawn to She literally covered herself. I didn't see the silhouette of her body. Uh, she didn't wear clothes that hugged her body. I, I couldn't see the shape of her breasts. I couldn't see, uh, she didn't expose her hair. She didn't, you know, she didn't do all these things. Uh, she didn't She didn't wear tight skirts, you know, she didn't do all that stuff. Uh, what I saw was a holy conversation. I heard how she would speak. Uh, I would hear how she would speak. Uh, amongst uh, the other, you know, uh, girl, women at the time. And I would hear how she would speak even in on video. She had did a video, I remember, um, with Brother Jermaine on The Simple Truth years and years ago, man. She was there a bit, maybe 15 years old, and she did that video. And I could just remember saying and telling her mother even, like, hey, we have more daughters like, like yours, man. I said, oh, yeah. I remember even saying, man, if I was... A little younger and she was a little older, man. It'd be a done deal. I would have been inquired, you know. So, because I wasn't looking at anything but holiness. I was seeking after nothing but righteousness. I even wanted our betrothal to be righteous. I used to hear about how Pastor would do um, Deacon Bell and, and Sister Ashley early on in their betrothal stage. And I wanted it strict. I didn't want it light. I didn't want it to be very passive. I didn't want it to be... Oh, he trusts me and stuff. I, I didn't want that. I wanted it just how he did everybody else. I wanted it just as strict. I didn't need us to have any private time. I wanted to do everything out in the open. I wanted things to be honorable. I wanted things to be just. I wanted it to be right. I even uh, called my wife out even during our patrol process. I actually went and spoke to her mother and uh, to spoke to pastor and, you know, discovered a spirit that she had that she was dealing with. But why? You know, most people ask, oh, I don't want to say nothing because I don't want to mess up the time, you know, and I want to I want to make sure that we ever get married soon, not later. No, I just want it to be done right. Because at the end of the day, you are making um, this decision is going to be very impactful. You're talking about <clears throat> marrying a woman. This is going to be life changing for you as well as her. And so I just wanted to be right. I wanted to make sure that she was going to come purged and clean and that she wasn't going to have anything lingering that I was going to have to deal with. So um, that's how we need to walk, man. So anyway, I just want to come on and tell you guys that uh, you got to seek for holiness. You got to seek for righteousness. And you want to be able to see uh, some type of semblance of 
rice in the center system. You know, you, you want to be able to see that. You don't want to see just a big ass, big titties, you know, pretty face. You know, all that stuff don't matter, man. Beauty phase is vain. That stuff don't last. Uh, at the end of the day, what's on the inside is what truly, truly matters. I know it, it could sound cliche -ish. It could sound like a cliche or something like that, but that, that really is what it boils down to. And I definitely do have peace with it, Sister Erica, man. She does, she does bring peace. Uh, she strives for peace. Uh, she strives to hear me. She listens to me. She does not rule the house. I rule the house. She knows that. She desires for me to rule the house. And that's what you want. You want a woman that's going to desire to actually be in her role. And so I don't have too many issues with it. That don't mean that, hey, Jesus was tempted in all points, right? But he defeated it all so that way we can defeat. So um, does that mean that she's you know, this perfect person? No, not at all. I mean, she still deals with things just like anybody else. But... Uh, there is something to say about her coming as a maiden. There is something to say about, and I have seen the differences in that, but more than anything, I've seen the holiness uh, that she that she was striving for at that time, and I see that she's still striving for to this very day, and you need that. Hallelujah. All right. Bless you, brothers, man. Y'all have a great Shabbat.